What is going on gamers? Steel here. And uh, today I'm looking at the Big Light Panzer, or as uh, me and my friends like to call it, the Bagel Panzer. It I'm is a tier 5 Contact German light tank based on fire. the Martyr chassis Go with a 57mm gun. Go uh, it's an 8 round clip and it also has an ATGM as you can see there on the right side. Now this thing, as being a light tank, is no fucking armor at all. But being a light tank, it gets three grenade smoke charges, or smoke grenade charges, and it gets a speed boost that lasts around like five seconds, I believe. It has a really, really good top speed, actually. <clears throat> and, um, uh, as I've been told by some Germans, it goes the same speed forward as it does in reverse. As you can see, I'm just taking a couple pot shots here. Got a couple penetrating. Everyone's uh, focusing down that uh, Abrams. But, um, yeah. It's, uh, it's got that 57mm gun, as you can see. It aims uh, pretty high. It actually has some decent gun depression as well, you can see there. And uh, as you can see, going around 70 kilometers an hour. Now if I just hand break it. You can see... Once I get it going, it should be going as fast in reverse as it is going forward. As you can see there, it's picking up. I, I don't know if that's just a thing of the martyr chassis, which I'm guessing it it, uh, it is actually. Oh, come on, VFM, where are you? There's a Terminator I can shoot in the butt. There we go, got him. Alright, there's a big light pins in the cap. So, uh, oh, seems everything else is in the cap. They're all an ass. And, uh, I'm gonna activate my speed boost here. And try and stay on the road. And they seem to got the cap taken care of. So I'm gonna... <laughs> oh, I thought I was gonna crush that guy there. Wow. Yeah, this thing has a really good uh, base halter for speed. I don't think I have a retrofit on it. Yeah, I don't actually have a mobility retrofit on it, so this is pretty good stock. Where do you ever do? There's a BMP. I'm just gonna put full speed here. No, I think it has better acceleration forward, so it's actually like it's better to just do this. And since the uh, gun is near the back of the tank as well, it's also easier to do that. I'm gonna take one shot here and uh, kill that guy. And oh, I missed it. <laughs> He's gonna kill him. Yeah, that Bradley. Uh, Man. All right, let's go for a reload and get the hell out of here because I hate that Bradley following me. And I'm eating these really good things. They're uh, sea salt flavored pita chips. They're like triangles. They're really good, actually. Oh. Wow, it's not like such a fat motherfucker when I eat this. Sound like that Joey guy that Leafy was here was making fun of. No. I actually, um, I only have the, uh, second gun for this thing. I'm probably gonna unlock it in a game or two here. Look at that. And you can see it popped a smoke grenade there. Now, this is one thing I noticed I could do with the swing fire. Um, I didn't actually work. But with the swing fire, you could stay behind cover, like, light cover like this. And if the swing fire was a lighter vehicle, oh fuck. Woo! If it was a lighter vehicle, it would actually be uh, really good. Or uh, not not lighter, a lower profile vehicle. The AMX over there. It'd be really good at uh, shooting over stuff because of its low profile. This thing actually has some decent accuracy. I have, um... I have the magnetic actuator. I don't know if I put on the Mark II, but it gives a better aim time and damage. And uh, it's something I wanted to go for was more damage because I was looking at the B1 Draco, which seems like a really good uh, 
vehicle. Oh, that was a fucking shitty miss. There goes my uh, last, my second to last one. Probably gonna die here. Yeah. Um. Oh shit. Fuck! <laughs> oh, I backed up. Uh, but yeah, the gun depression. You can't work a pointy ridge like that. And I notice there's a lot of pointy ridges in this game that they need to smoothen out. And, uh, Spratly is, uh, sniped there. But, uh, <coughs> yeah. Um, that's, that's pretty much it for this match. Uh, uh, let's get going in a, another match. Uh, very, very soon. Hopefully it's on a winter map or something. Uh, I need a more open map. This one's, this one's open. But uh, the spawns are kind of broken on it. But uh, yeah, anyways, we're going to be in, hopping into another battle here. Alright, here we are on a desert map. You can see it got my nice color here. I believe it's actually the... What is it? Iraqi or Iranian camo? I'm not sure. Uh, but I know it's, it's... I think it's like Iraq or something. It's some sort of Arab country over there. But uh, yeah, we're playing Operation Calvary, as you can see. With uh, Peter Sabri, who's just gotten more like a Russian than a... That's Arab, the case. It's just me. Jets are in oh, back of a leopard. If I could just reload. Two, three. Oh, sneaky Typhoon too. That Black fast company, reload. Change of plan. Our plane's been hit, and we need the intel from the. One thing it's easy line. for this thing to do Find is take out like secondary objectives and stuff. And the Still one thing you want to do here, like uh, I was trying to do there at the side, was aim for. Wait, that just fire. happened. That actually just happened. I, <laughs> I bounced an AP shot <laughs> in, a, in a light tank. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, uh. Oh shit. See his turret? Okay. Oh shit. I got it. What do we do here? What do we do? What do we do here, guys? Oh, shit. Um. Uh. I think he's. I think he's. Oh! <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, there's an artillery somewhere. This is, uh, one thing you want to do with this tank is take out artillery positions and, uh, secondaries. Ooh, that didn't actually mean to take that kill. Uh, let's see. I could probably... Where's that secondary? I could probably take out the artillery with three shots and a rocket. Identified. But it seems the Centaur is actually following me. Holy shit! <laughs> Sup, bro? No, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Um. What do we do here? <laughs> okay. Um, Identify. Fuck you. Oh, time to use the speed boost. <sighs> oh, oh! Oh my god, that was a paladin! That motherfucker just... Oh my god. <laughs> I kind of wet myself. Oh well, uh... Lol. Let me get him with a rocket first. Right in the ass. Wait, I killed that Abrams? Oh, I must have set it on fire, I think. Alright, let's go for a reload. Oh, hi, bud! Uh oh. That was gonna hurt. Target 
Okay, so it's a good thing I used that PvE kit. I think that kind of saved my life there. Alright, now we're gonna take a little bit more slowly here. Actually, you know I'll go for a reload. Um... Ah, fuck. That was a bad... Bad, uh... Bad shot. Actually... Um... Enemy, right there. On. And to the... Direct hit. No pen. Oh, shit. Something just... No, 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 no. Okay. So. I'm out of smoke charges. And... Got two Ds behind me there helping me out here. I... I'm a very aggressive player. I've always was in World of Tanks. I am in War Thunder. That's probably why I suck at RB a lot. That's probably why I suck at World, War Thunder Tanks. Just like my, I'm not using a good mouse. Um, you know, shot. Ah, ooh, ow. I don't want to get splashed. I'm at 38 health. Fuck. Should have moved forward a little bit. Well, that, uh, means as soon as I see this BMP2, I'm gonna die. Sup, bro? Oh, he's trying to hit me. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, shit. Where's that? Oh, he's just... Oh, never mind. Oh, I thought he just... Okay. So, not only are you in an MBT, you're in a more upgraded C-72A, and you're fucking AFK from the start. Th this is seriously something I have to talk about. I mean... I've played at least 20 PvE matches in the in the past two days, and at least 14 to 15 of those, there was always an MBT that was AFK, and, or just lagged out. It's like, seriously, if you know your internet's gonna be shit, stop fucking playing. I'm sorry, but these people have probably played multiple matches today, probably been uh, lagged out multiple times, it's like, just stop fucking playing the game. You, you It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work, bro. It's not gonna- it's just not. Not gonna work. Seriously. Uh. Uh. Centaur. I actually had the Centaro, but I sold it, cause, uh, I don't know. I actually was- At the same time I sold that, my XM1 was at 60%, while my Centaro, I believe, is also at 60%. They're pretty much around the same area. But I sold my Centaro to buy my XM1 because I was just getting bored of the Centaro. Being in a completely lightly armored tank like the Centauro, which has bad aim time, is... I don't know, it's just not my tank. And I'm not much of a PvP nut, so... I don't really like the player base generally, and they can't really get a good... By player base, I both mean their attitude, and, as well, the uh, performance of my team is not very good. And pretty much almost 90%, 99% of the matches I've played... In Armored Warfare, War Thunder, World of Tanks, Warships, all together, were, were losses. Like, that that's my win rating in PvP. It's like, 99% loss, 1% win. And I'm not even joking you, that was actually my PvP win-lose, win or WN8 rating in both World of Tanks and uh, World of Warships. On both PC and Xbox World of Tanks as well. They were, they were both... Both 99% loss rate. I mean, my KD is pretty good, but my <laughs> my uh, win to loss ratio is fucking god awful. It's just ugh. It's disgusting. Jesus, man. Yeah. Jesus. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, and I'm saying the saying way too many times nowadays. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Anyways, this was the, uh, Big Light Panzer, or the Bagel Panzer. Now, 
I, I very I very do much like this tank. I I want to say that it's a bit underwhelming with the penetration because um, as you can see, the first gun gets 131 millimeters. The second one gets 137 millimeters of penetration, and the third one gets 141 millimeters of penetration, which is a bit uh, underwhelming. I get that it's a 57 millimeter gun. And it doesn't really get any APCR or anything, and it's like, you only, with the final gun, you only get 10 millimeters of penetration more. I mean, I might need to put a normalization thing on, because apparently that improves penetration. Um, accord according to my friends. Let's see. Um, fuck it, let's use a little bit of free XP. Uh, firepower retrovit. I'll eventually be getting that. Now I got the third gun. So I believe, yeah, pretty much only one AP, and I I have the best HEGM I believe as well. Yeah. Uh, I don't use HE that much. I keep 40 rounds in and 120 AP. I've actually gone through once or twice a lot of AP rounds, especially. HE isn't isn't that great, but uh, what are you gonna do? Now let's see. Uh, what do I have? The magnetic actuator, so I get better aim time, uh, aim time and damage. And apparently the advanced MRS gives you better normalization, which improves the penetration. So if I um I can sell this, I believe, right? Sell. Which is actually pretty good. I'm selling it for almost as much as I bought. I put the Mark II. Now that means my penetration should should be better, isn't it? I guess that's what it does. Normalization. Pri which treats. Yeah, improves the chance of penetration. So it must it must improve. I'm guessing because it's a degree sign, it means that you can get better penetration at two at two point two and a half degrees or something. So it's like you get two and a half degrees better penetration. Like, I mean, I don't know if it would affect this gun that much. I'll have to do more testing uh, with it to see if it actually does work. Uh, I've heard from one one or two people that it actually is a really good uh, investment as a retrofit. Um. I, I probably could put on the max speed once I get the mobility thing. It's just now that they have the bonus off, I can't really grind it as efficiently as I could before. I would, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, I'm actually kind of looking forward to the Stingray. My one friend hated it. I want, I want a light tank because, like, it was like, because I unlocked the T90MS now, right? So, you know, I've got that. And the sting, both of the stingrays kind of look underwhelming because they're one of fives. The XM8 kind of looks pretty cool because it gets the armor upgrades. And uh, as you can see, I have the T90MS able to to be purchased, but I don't have that many credits, and I'm not really much of a PVP person. I said, uh, like I said, so um, I don't, I don't actually know what to do. I wanted to get a light tank because of how more of a medium tank style it is, at least in my experience. Because in World of Tanks, when I was playing the M46 Patton and the uh, M20, M26 Pershing, M20, I don't know, was it fucking M28? I know it's M26, but I swear in that game it said M28. I'm, I, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I sold my my Type 69 because nah, not really enjoying the Chinese. That was kind of a waste of the gold that I got from the event. Because I don't play the WZ much. WZ. I say WZ now because that actually does sound a little bit better. Uh, I don't actually know what to do. What do you guys think I should do? Do you guys think I should play the Bradley? Get the BMD and the Ramka? I know I'd have a lot of fun with the Ramka because it's got decent armor. Um, or they go for the Stingray. The Stingray too looks weird. The Stingray looks kind of cool. The XM8 is what I was looking forward to. Uh, or should I just keep playing and get the T90MS? I, I know that... I remember when I had like 4 million credits off, I think I could have sold the XM1, the Bradley, and the Arietti. But I want to keep the Bradley 
in the Exum one in the Arietti. <laughs> but I mean, probably when I unlock the M1 Abrams, I'll I'll sell the Exum one because I've been told that the lower glacis on the M1 Abrams is actually pretty good. It's just like the AIs that you see in PVE are just really shitty, so they're, they're, it's actually easy to penetrate. The Arietti, you know, it's Italian. I'm Italian. I'm keeping this thing no matter what. Unless I had a million dollars. I mean, if I was Jingles, because Jingles has so many millions of credits, he can fucking buy whatever he wants. He's got a lot of money as a YouTuber. Next one, one, yeah. It's a good, it's a good looking tank. I have to admit, it looks really cool. But it's this fucking lower glacis. I swear to God, I'll be angling like this, and they'll shoot me through here and hit this. And it's like the hell. Uh, I don't, I don't know. But uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, give me your suggestion on what you think I should do. You think I should play the light tanks, play the Bradley, and get the and play the uh, FSVs, the fire sport vehicles, or. Get the uh, T90MS. But yeah, uh, leave your suggestion down in the comments below, guys. Anyways, I'm Steel Wolf, and I'll see you all next time.